introduced the Eldorado in 1953. There were uh, three cars, really four cars, that were part of General Motors traveling Motorama that went around the United States to kind of gauge the reaction of public, the public and get them excited about cars. Uh, usually started at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City, went to other cities from there. The Eldorado was limited production along with the Buick Skylark and the Olds Fiesta. The Skylark lasted two years, the Fiesta lasted one year, and then you have the El Dorado, which was really, uh, would later become the competitor, of course, of the Packard Caribbean. But this was a car that was all Cadillac, unique style of the fins, of course, the splitted rocker panels on the car, uh, the bullet-shaped uh, uh, bumper guards that you see, they were called Dagmars, and they were named after a very buxom blonde who was a star at the time. You can make all your inferences there that you want in your head. Don't have to tell everybody. Harley Earl, from the little daylights out of the car, really tried to make this uh, just something special and unique in the Cadillac lineup. This is an all original, unrestored car that Gene and Marlene have. This car has never been touched in terms of being restored, and it's a perfect example of an early Cadillac and a car with a really wonderful history. Winning the blue ribbon today, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to the Epstein family for their 54 Cadillac El Dorado. Look at that sticker bill on the side. That does not spend much time in the garage. That says you were 60 in 18 days. They drove it from London to Jerusalem in 2000. Very cool. That's really, really cool. Wow, thank you guys very much. Bill, powered by America. We had so much fun talking about how the Europeans gave us all the classes. 